So we are back with another early review for you guys. If y'all have not been tapping into the channel, I literally just did another early review on the Nike Dunk Ice. Now that one has not came out yet, and neither has this dunk I'm about to show y'all today. Now the Nike Dunk, how many times I gotta tell y'all, man, it's been one of our favorites. Of course, a lot of you guys love the Air Jordans, a lot of you guys love the Yeezys, and now even the New Balance has been making a huge jump. But another shoe that's been making a huge jump and been like one of the most cultivating shoes in streetwear fashion is the Nike Dunk. And anytime they have a release, that got a little bit of buzz. I want to be able to give that to you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. Aya, here we have it, man. The Nike Dunk Box. I mean, this shoe, or at least this box, is becoming like more and more of a household look. It's to the point now where like people that hit me up for shoes no longer ask me, hey, Snipe, can you help me out with the Jordans? Can you help me out with the Yeezys? They all asking for dunks. <laughs> to hype 24 7 again on this assist if you guys checked out the nike dunk ice video they hooked me up with that pair as well and they hooked me up with this pair hype 24 7 is a sneaker store downtown atlanta with everything every brand you can name and as you can see they get a lot of early releases not just early air jordans all right they get early nike dunks as you can see they get early yeezys they pretty much just tapped in with everything you need so i'm going to link them down below in the description for anybody who wants to go through there check them out once again as always they have the best prices in town when it comes to resale prices but guaranteed trust me but now man let's dive into it i don't want to waste too much time man here we have the nike dunk low marina blue so first off we're gonna check out the box okay we're not gonna stay on it too long because obviously it's nothing to talk about too much it's a regular box and that's why i kind of bigged up the nike dunk ice because they finally gave us a different box from the standard red and white nike branding on the top nike branding on the side uh this is just like your standard box however when it comes to the sneaker this is definitely not your regular standard Nike Dunk. Bow, here we have it right here, man. The Nike Dunk Low Marina Blue. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm, I love this shoe. I love this shoe. Going into it, I knew I was gonna like it. The color scheme is amazing to me. It actually gives me that like that Charlotte Hornets vibe. I don't even know where to start with this pair. The best analogy or the best thing I can say about this is literally a breath of fresh air. So the Nike Dunk is pretty much basically known for its college colorways. And even though we all love college colorways like black, white, red, white, blue, green, this one is kind of a little bit different because we get like this three-tone pattern of colors. Now this shoe has not been set or released day yet. If anything changes, because if you guys are watching this video a little bit later, news could change i'll try my best to come back to the video edit a few things in the description and let you guys know when they're releasing and also i'll give you an update on the retail price usually for a pair of nike dunk lows the price point is usually standard either 100 or 120 dollars depending on what they're doing i'm not sure exactly which way they're going to decide on this one because this nike dunk is a little bit different from any other one we've seen and i'm gonna talk about that right now so as i talked about earlier we get this three type color pattern and one of the three type color patterns we have on there is a nice dutch blue that's the lighter blue you see going throughout the entire upper really fire especially when you mix that in with the dark navy blue now there's two color combinations even though they're the same color by them being two different shades really complements each other not to mention how important the white is on this sneaker man i feel like i'm preaching to y'all because i'm very excited the white on this sneaker is probably what brings you that breath of fresh air type feel i mean even if you look at like the white on the midsole that kind of separates the top from the bottom and the laces are popping they look amazing with that all white lace going through the upper of the shoe just kind of giving it a little bit of character and separation let's start off with the outer sole guys we get a regular standard outer sole and this is actually in the same dark navy blue if you guys think you've seen this before probably because you have seen a pair from 2001 and that's actually called the nike dunk low oregon I'm going to put a picture up on the screen. You can see a few differences in this sneaker and that pair. Actually, you know, there are rumors that this Nike Dunk is supposed to be re-released in 2022 as well. I'm not sure if that's true or not. So some subtle differences between this pair and the pair that we last seen in 2001 is the outer shell looks a little bit different. As you can see, they took a darker spill this time around with like this dark blue. The last pair in 2001, the blue is a little bit lighter. Even, even the upper, right? The upper is a little bit lighter. The colors are a little bit brighter. It's not the exact same but it definitely does have some resemblance as we come up to the midsole man thank god for nike bringing back the all-white midsole the reason why i say that is because 
I'm a huge fan of the sale mid so I love the age look. It's even Nike Dunks that's going to be dropping this year, 2022, with regular college colorways, but they're coming with a very aged midsole, and I'm excited for it. I just think that once we start making or wishing for every shoe to look aged, we kind of take for granted what an all-white based colorway can do to a regular Nike Dunk. And by this shoe being so dark when it comes to the uppers and even the outer sole, this clear, plain based white is so bright and it pops so well that it just brings this shoe life. Now, the reason why I say this shoe is different from a lot of other dunks is because even though dunks are some of our favorites material is usually always the same this time around nike decided to switch it up a little bit and they actually gave us some tumble leather on this sneaker so we see the toe cap in this dark royal blue but actually on the toe box of the shoe in this nice dutch blue they decided to go with a tumble leather and you can see the details from the b-roll i'm sending you guys right now it's actually a step up i really don't remember the last time a regular nike dunk had tumble leather Nike also gave us tumbled leather on the Nike swoosh as well. That all white Nike swoosh on the side of the sneaker gives it that nice tumbled touch. And once again, the Dutch blue behind the white on the Nike swoosh is also tumbled on the side panel. Like I said, small things, yes, but man when you so used to seeing the same things over and over i'm just happy to see somebody take a step forward and even if this is something that nike's done before i can still say it's something that they don't do often so when it does come around it's something that you either got to take advantage of or be excited about now if you're watching this video and you like snipe marina blue marina blue i heard about that before where did i hear that that's probably because air jordan is actually dropping a jordan one marina blue as well by the way Hype 24-7 also does have the Air Jordan 1 Marina Blues over there. So once again, if you guys are interested in picking up any early pairs, head over to Hype 24-7. They have those for you as well. So the Air Jordan 1 Marina Blue is a different colorway of this one, but it still has the same name. And because that sneaker is actually coming out this month on the 16, I believe, don't quote me, but I know a lot of people are excited about that shoe. So you might hear the word Marina Blue tossed around, but they are not talking about the Nike Dunk. Well, at least not for now. You know, what's kind of funny to me is like the Nike Dunk used to be a sneaker that wasn't released a lot of times. You know, what's kind of funny to me is like the Nike Dunk was a shoe that wasn't really released that much. A lot of my, a lot of old Nike Dunk fans say that the Nike Dunks was. We get this Nike tag on top of the tongue, which is pretty much standard when it comes to any Nike Dunk. And once again, the white laces on this shoe, man, it does the same job as the midsole. And the Nike swoosh just brings character, a breath of fresh air, no need for a lace swap, no need for anything. I keep them standard just like this. This shoe looks amazing. And when it comes to sizing for the Nike Dunks, a lot of people tell people to go half size up. I don't know why. Very, very serious that you guys understand this. The Nike Dunk fits true to size, number one. Number two, the tote box on a Nike Dunk is always gonna crease whenever you're wearing it. Especially a guy like me, I wear a size 12, so I got big feet, I walk kinda heavy. But you gotta understand, if you listen to people that's telling you to get a half size up, what you essentially are doing is giving yourself more space in the sneaker to actually be creased. So I would actually suggest that you guys always go true to size when it comes to Nike Dunks. I mean, it's not gonna help prevent creases, but it is better than an alternative of going a size up or a half size up i'm just being honest guys i am so excited for this sneaker to finally release man so i can have this in the collection please let me know your thoughts opinions ideas on this new nike dunk try my best to switch things up man because nothing has been coming out the last few days and i also just want to give y'all something that y'all haven't seen yet once again huge shout out to hype 24 7 for assisting us in some of the dopest kicks this year check them out link in the description and i will check y'all in the next one it is your boy sniper jones you know i cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous but really putting in that work though snipe squad i love you y'all dream big